Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an art supply haul. I recently went to the Philippines and then I also went to Singapore and over there I was able to find some amazing art supplies. I generally don't like to buy a heap of stuff all at once. I think that it's far more worthwhile to buy little by little. Then I'm really excited about that one thing that I've bought and I use it until I'm excited to try something new. The reason that I bought so many things at once is mostly because it's actually really hard to find a range of art supplies, especially in Western Australia. It's a really isolated capital city. There's many amazing things about living in Perth but one of the downsides is that there aren't that many art supply shops. That's one of the primary things that I went shopping for when I was in Singapore. But the first thing that I found is actually from the Philippines. They are hook line colour pens. These are only 220 pesos, very affordable, like $6. I don't know too much about them, but I know that they are water-based and they have some really gorgeous colors. It's really hard to find flexible brush tipped markers here in Perth. They will tend to just be your standard bullet nib. A really nice range of markers. I drew this one. So this was an urban sketch of all the crazy power lines in the Philippines that I did while I was over there. They work really nicely for getting like a really sketchy messy look which is fun. Alright, next in Singapore. So these are $12.90. They are an alcohol based quick drying ink. I've never heard of this brand before but kind of triangular shaped. They have the code on the top so yellow red 23. I wonder if there's actually more colors than this available in the range. This marker is really nice. I like how it has the gray at one end to show you which end is the fine tip. Um, the only way that these could be better is if they had a brush tip. This works really nicely though and it also has a broad tip. This is the widest broad tip I've ever seen. Really interesting. So I will do a little swatch. Because they are alcohol based, they should blend really nicely in together. I used these on the plane to draw this. So that was only using this set of markers. They do bleed through to the other side, but that's to be expected with any alcohol based ink. Next, a lot of the stuff that I got was from this amazing shop in Singapore called Overjoyed. They were really lovely. If you are ever in Singapore, definitely go to Overjoyed. I bought two different types of paper. First, I bought this toned gray 50 sheets sketch paper. I really love how it has this really organic mix of fibers in it. Basically, I have seen people recommending to start from a mid-tone paper so that then you bring out the depth and the highlights. So if you work on white paper, you've already started with whitest white and there's no way to go. Well, if you start on mid-tone paper, then you can go dark and go lighter with white supplies. And I'm really excited to try that. And I got 24 sheets of cold black drawing paper, also by Strathmore. It's showing up kind of washed out on camera, but it's just really black paper. I'm excited to use this black paper and this gray paper for one of the other art supplies that I bought, which is Posca pens. If you don't know what Posca pens are, they are paint based markers. They have a little ball inside them and you mix them up. I haven't opened any of these guys yet, but I have used Posca markers before. I currently have had this set of the wider ones. They're really fun and different to use. When I saw that these were about half the price over in Singapore, I just had to buy every color. This was expensive. I, I hesitated with this, but I'm so glad that I got them. Especially because there's some colors that I have never seen before. Like, I've never seen this awesome khaki green in the bigger ones before. There's also this awesome fuchsia. I've never seen this apple green before. 
I have really loved using these big bowl tips because I do tend towards really fine details in the majority of my work that it's been a really fun learning experience trying out these really big bold nibs first but I gotta say I'm really excited to go back to some finer details with these fine point um, Posca markers so these are 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter and I can't wait to try them. in case you've never seen Posca markers before I'll quickly show you something that I've done with those big bold markers and that'll give you an idea of the effect I think I want to make a whole video about Posca markers maybe once I've masked them a little bit more this is something that I did in Posca markers some of the finer grade details were done with a pen but all of this flat color was done with Posca markers they just feel amazing, really, really matte. And I'm especially excited to try those markers on this kind of paper because they're opaque. They'll show up really, really well, hopefully on this gray tone and the black tone paper and just pop out of the page. I've never bought this many art supplies in one go and we're not even halfway through. Let's keep going. <laughs> Since we just did paper, let me just show you one more thing that I got that was paper. This was less than $2. It's just a tiny little sketchbook. I love this because it's the size of a passport. Also love that it has a soft cover so you can have it completely flat and draw squarish art. No excuse to leave the house without a sketchbook of some type. The next thing, I bought a circle stencil. Oh, upside down. So this was only a couple of dollars and it's just a circle template. Next, I bought a set of these Prismacolor Color Erase Erasable Color Pencils. I've never managed to get my hands on these before, but I've seen so many people use it to do their under sketch rather than using graphite because graphite can smudge. But I didn't realize when I bought them, because I was hoping to use them straight away when I was over there, that they didn't come sharpened. <laughs> One of the things that I bought because they didn't come with a sharpened tip was a sharpener. And I did plan on sharpening them while I was over there and using them, but I never actually got a chance. It has a metal sharpener. Often these parts are plastic, but I haven't tried it. So let's give it a go. Wow, great. So this is Key Road, also a brand that I haven't heard of before. Oh, shall I try erasing it? There's still a really slight hint of color on the page, but these erase so much better than I expected. Oh, hit that eraser dust though. Get out of here, eraser dust. Speaking of eraser dust, so I very rarely use this kind of eraser or even, oh, this one's really gross, but um, this kind of eraser just because it does leave so much dust. So I traveled with a kneadable eraser, but unfortunately it picked up a lot of ill. <laughs> so I actually bought a brand new kneadable eraser as well. This one's by Faber-Castell and I love that it comes in this little tiny box as well, which is great because when I pop this in my pencil case, it's not going to get all gross. It's picked up some friends along the way. I want to see if this will erase with a kneadable eraser as well. Wow, does that work better? Probably. Kneadable erasers are the best. Um, I still keep and use this one if I'm really scared about getting smudgies <laughs> on a piece. I'm going to use this clean one. <laughs> so speaking of coloured pencils, I really enjoy sketching in layers with some colored pencils. It really helps you to refine a sketch. I can show you an example where I did some of the under sketches in pink and then I did a more refined layer in blue and then I did the black on top before doing my final piece over here. This of course looks like a hot mess because it's so many layers of sketch but you essentially get three uses out of a page because you've done it in three different colors. You can see the development along the way. Um, before you do your final piece, but there is a problem when you travel on planes The reason I didn't have a sharpener with me is because you're not allowed to bring a sharpener in your carry-on and of course immediately what happened when I 
started sketching is I broke one of my colored pencils and I didn't really use them for the rest of the trip. So when I saw that you can get colored lead, I was really excited. <laughs> When I got home, I swapped out two of my 0.5 pencils leads. It's so fine. Wow. I'll give you a closer shot of those. Being able to sketch in red and blue, but in click pencils is great. I didn't know that was a thing. So exciting times. <laughs> Next, these are Derivan Liquid pencils. I have never ever heard of a liquid pencil before. Um, I'm really keen to try them. It comes with six colors. Well, it looks like six, but actually it's 12 tubes because they have permanent and rewettable. I'm not going to open them right now because I have so many other things to try. Have you ever tried them before? If you have, let me know. Oh, I forgot. I also bought this in the Philippines. It's just a little palette. Perfect size little wells for not wasting too much paint. The other watercolor supplier that I got was this, which is Drawing Gum. So it looks like it's high precision masking marker in 0.7 millimeter. One more watercolor thing that I got is amazing. I've seen people using them on the internet, but never touched it with my hands. This is the Kuretake um, Starry Colors and they're water-based pigment. These look beautiful. Blue gold, red gold, yellow gold, champagne gold, light gold, and white gold. Let's do a really quick swatch. Wow, they are so pretty. They actually look more metallic in real life, I think. They're gonna be fun. Let's do some more pens. I bought my first ever Micron Pigma pens. I saw these all the time during Inktober. My current favorite pen are the Unipins. I think these are really good quality and they come in a great range of sizes, but I really wanted to try the Microns. The other pen that I got, it's a Sakura Japan with this kind of tip. I really like the feel of this. Next, I got two pens that I can't read a lot of what's written on these. This is a pilot pen. Again, it's that really interesting tip, but I love this pen. I did a drawing with this on the plane. Let me show you. This is what I drew on the plane. Unfortunately, a little bit of this had seeped through. This, this is maybe my favorite pen. And I got this zebra pen. Also has lots of things I can't read on it, but it has this thick end to it. This one feels really nice to draw with. I feel like this will be fun. I bought some white pens. I currently have a Uniball Signo, and this is good, but it doesn't work exactly how I'd like it to work. So I decided to try some brands that I've heard other people talking about. So I bought the 0.8 Pentel Hybrid Milky. I also bought the Jelly Roll in a variety pack of sizes. So there's the 0.3. The 0.4 and the 0.5 millimeter, also made in Japan. Japan seems to make all the cool art supplies. These are really, really nice. They look even brighter in person. I especially like the bold one, the 10. Very last thing and possibly the most exciting. I do have some Copic markers and I do have some Blick Studio markers. Before my trip, I had a total of 12 Copic sketch markers. I have 95 of the Blick Studio markers and they are awesome, a really great alternative to Copic markers. Something that I noticed was missing from my uh, collection was some pastel colors. So I bought 10 Copic 
sketch markers and oh they're just such beautiful colors this was partly inspired by a really awesome youtuber that you should totally check out called Fran I'll link her in the description box also I just got this really random peony color the rest of these are really pastel and then bam peony let me show you these awesome colors peony rose quartz powder pink pale chiffon lily white dim green crystal opal oh so pretty maybe that's my favorite color ocean mist pale celestine and finally pale thistle Basically, I just really wanted some colors all in this kind of family. Um, definitely, if you're testing these out, don't judge it on the first color that comes out because as you can see, as they dry down, they really change. These are not cheap, but they were a lot cheaper than I could get them in Australia. These are about $7.40 per marker, which to me was a great deal. I think this really rounds out the colors that I have. Those are all the art supplies that I got on my trip. I know that it was a lot and I normally would not advocate at all just going and spending a lot of money on art supplies. You can do so much with just creativity, a pencil and a paper, and you do not need all of these art supplies to create amazing art. I'm definitely kitted out in terms of art supplies for the next while which is really awesome. I am inspired to use all of these different art supplies. I think I only have 10 pages left in this sketchbook which hopefully means I can give you a full sketchbook tour. Thank you so much for watching and trying out some of these art supplies with me. I hope you enjoyed it especially if you've discovered some art supplies that you didn't know existed. Let me know if you want me to make a video about this liquid pencil because I'm keen for that. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!